have an awesome new giga in Jurassic World Evolution 2 thanks to the brand new Dominion Bios and expansion. An awesome dinosaur deserves an awesome enclosure and that's exactly what I'm building right now. A remote high security research facility with separate workers compound. We're going to use the new Hyperloop, the new invisible fences, the new viewing towers. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I like going a little overboard with my creative builds and I hope it inspires you for your own builds. If it does, give a like and subscribe for more. So I have the perimeter of the enclosure done right here. We have a hexagonal shape on the outside and on the interior, uh, an odd shaped little square. That's right away one of my first tips is make the shapes of your enclosures a little less standard. So don't make it a perfect square, don't make it a perfect circle, don't make it a perfect rectangle, just give, give a little more shape to it. I think that immediately adds a lot of interest. Now here we go with the brand new viewing towers which are absolutely amazing. They do not need a path connection. These underground hyperloops are all they need and I think it's really excellent. And through the hyperloop loop is also how we're going to connect the interior research facility with the separate workers compound and further away from that the actual entry point of the park itself which is all the way on the other side of the park. Now what I decided to do for this enclosure for this for this super awesome giga was I added a hatchery to the enclosure and that is going to serve as our feeder and also for the purpose of research. So we're going to be feeding the, the giganotosaurus, giganotosaurus. It's, it's contentious about how we're going to pronounce it. I'm going to stick with giganotosaurus if you don't mind. <laughs> but we're going to be feeding it live dinosaurs instead of the goats or just the, uh, the rotting slabs of meat <laughs> that is is also an option. I love building like these huge and over the top research facilities and high security sort of stuff. I know that the dinosaurs don't actually need it. I like using my imagination for these sorts of builds and approaching it like a little bit more realistically. So one of the things I'm doing right now, which is completely superfluous, obviously, but I'm adding a secondary fencing with the brand new invisible fences. So this is just to keep the Giganotosaurus away from the concrete fence so it never even has the chance to try to break out or I don't know somersault over it because there is like this uh, I don't know laser beam <laughs> shooting out of the ground right in front of it to dissuade it from even approaching the fence and that's just a little detail that I really liked I used it for the exterior perimeter but also around the viewing galleries and these interior walls as well Again, just to keep the Giganotosaurus away from the fences behind which the fleshy vulnerable people are, but even away from the viewing galleries, which of course have glass, which isn't the most secure material in the world. So what we have on the interior is like the, the research facility part of it. So only people with special clearance can go here. People who signed NDAs and also legally cannot sue the park if they get eaten. <laughs> so that is what I built here. And the Hyperloop building that I used for the connection is the, um, the Biosyn power station. The, there are, there are multiple buildings in the set that are suitable for the Hyperloop. Um, none of them really have sort of an entry point look to them aside from, I think it's the control center, but you can only use that one once with functionality. If you use it a second time, you lose the hyperloop function. But I think the power station works quite well. It's a really cool looking power station. And I feel like thematically it fits. It looks loopy, you know, it has these loopy circular things on top. So I think that works very well. And you can use as many power stations as you want throughout your park and connect all of it remotely through the hyperloops, which is something I really, I really enjoy doing. I really enjoy playing with that. Now, because this is, you know, this is Biosyn. Biosyn is fancy. So we have some interior decoration in the compound. And speaking of compound, we are actually moving outside now because this is sort of like, yeah, the workers compound. This is where 
the staff would uh, stay overnight. This is also where the supplies arrive and all of that sort of stuff. And what's really fun about the free update, this is not part of the DLC, this is part of the free update, the tours now also count towards transportation. So instead of dragging a path all the way out here or even using a monorail to connect this, this remote outpost, I connected it using tours and sort of pretending that like those, um, those jeeps are, are, or trucks, I should say, are supplying this compound. So that's what I'm doing right now. It was a little fiddly to, uh, to get this to work, to get it to fit, but I managed and I'm just really happy with how it looks. And obviously this is just a single exhibit that I've built. I haven't built a full park around that. If you are going to do that, you need to plan out your tour path a little more carefully. Right now I just snaked it across the entire island. So here comes the next part of this build. And that is me going all over the place, apparently. <laughs> no, it's just a little path work on the workers compound. Um, what I'm doing is I'm leaving a little bit of space for the Holy Spirit. And by the Holy Spirit, I mean fencing. Um, so when our workers exit the tour building, they can go either to the left or to the right. But there's like a security checkpoint as is indicated right there with, um, with the fences that really just get really close to the path right there. And you just have to imagine that there are gates or doors between, between those two points or something. Oh, I actually removed one of the checkpoints. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Don't mind me. I don't know anything. Uh, I added a viewing tower here, not for uh, fun purposes, but I sort of imagine it more as a, a security outlook, um, maybe like a sniper perch. That's also how I kind of envision the new viewing towers, which are on the on each corner of the uh, hexagonal shape of the Giganotosaurus enclosure. Uh, I built a DFW hotel in there. The Biosyn building set does not come with a hotel, unfortunately. And I also built a response facility there, which I think is important. Um, on this side, I just snaked a path from the control center to the hatchery. So all of that is connected. Again, control center is connected through the hyperloop. And I just fenced around it and that was pretty much it. So now we're on to decorating the exhibit itself. Um, you can go multiple routes with this. I decided to go natural with it, but I've done like high security facilities before and for other things um uh, for other times i've approached it more utilitarian so it looked quite barren but i'm so in love with this biome right now that any excuse to use these trees is something i'm not going to pass up on so i went with a natural enclosure here and we have plenty of viewing opportunities throughout like on all sides so it doesn't really matter if we obstruct the view a little bit with the trees because there's always another point another viewing place where they can keep a good eye on those giganotosauruses and whatever they happen to be eating at that point in time I've been really enjoying playing around with this DLC. Uh, the new maps in particular are really inspiring for new builds and you can definitely expect more species builds coming up for the Therizinosaurus, for the Pyraptor. And of course, if you want to see any other special builds for specific dinosaur species, you can leave those in a comment down below, like give suggestions, I'm always open to those. And I have a whole playlist dedicated to exhibit speed builds. So this is just the first of the Dominion Biosyn expansion set, I suppose, but I've already done a couple for other species that were already had in the game. So if you're looking for like exhibit building inspiration, I hope that you'll find plenty in that playlist. I've done a couple at this point and I really like doing it like this. You know, it's, it's like a bite-sized chunk of building. Instead of going for a full park, it's just, it's just one exhibit. I think that's, uh, that's a nice approach. Now I'm using the decorations to spruce things up a little bit and make it come to life. I'm using plenty of cameras because of course, um, you know, uh, intellectual property and secrets and ooh. <laughs> but I also use some decorations because Biosyn is fancy. So 
they want to they want to treat their scientists well so it's a combination of the dfw decorations the biosyn decorations and even some jurassic world decorations so unfortunately an exact replica of this is not possible if you are on console and you can't mix the building styles but if you are going to build this i guess the uh the best building set actually would probably be the dfw because you get the most of the dfw decorations uh, but i can imagine that if you are getting this dlc that you can't resist using the biosyn set so then of course go for the biosyn set so you have the hyperloop but remember that the um like the the truck tours the gyrosphere tours all of that also counts as transport so you don't need the hyperloops for this remote outpost um, concept to be able to bring that to life. So I'm just placing a ton, a ton of these things. Uh, screw the peace limits, am I right? That's sort of a freedom you have when you don't, when I'm not working on building a complete park and I'm just focusing on one exhibit and just making that as good as I can possibly make it. And at this point, we are nearing the end of the build and I'm excited to show you the end result, see what it looks like. I really hope that it is going to give you plenty of inspiration for your own builds. And uh, yeah, I hope that you're going to have uh, fun building something like this in your own parks, in your own new maps. So here comes the amazing new Giga. It looks terrifying. I absolutely love it. It's, uh, it's casual Friday, but those are our security personnel and our scientists. Don't worry, this facility is being guarded as well as is absolutely possible. Here you have an overview. You see the hyperloops, the double fencing, all of that. And this is an aerial shot of the workers' compound the exhibits and the research facility within. I hope that you enjoyed watching this build. If you did, give it a like. And if you want to see more, if you want to see what I can do with this new Dominion Biosyn expansion, then consider joining 108,000 awesome people and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and until next time, enjoy the game.